Hello everybody, so let's just get into your daily message of the day. I do everyone's uh, weekly general zodiac sign reading, which I'll leave the links to all the playlists to each of the zodiac signs down below. But in this one, we're just going to do our daily read. We're going to get some tarot insight uh, when it comes to just social connections, what to look out for, right? We uh, just get a little bit of general insight to see what your spirit guys have to say, right? We're just going to vibe out for a little bit, if that's all right with y'all. So if you do enjoy this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Let me know which card resonates with you and how it does, because that's how we keep up with y'all, right? And then just remember when it comes to any reading that I do at least, y'all, that this is just here to give you some perspective, something for you to think about, some food for thought as you go throughout your day. So with all that in mind, let's get into this reading. So we're going to start out with a general message for you guys. Now, I'm going to start holding these upside down just so y'all can see the artwork of them, but I don't ever uh, talk about whether something's inverted or not because I feel like it's unnecessary details for y'all uh, to know about because it's all intuitive for me. So right off the bat, y'all, we're getting into the Ten of Swords, the Temperance card, and the Seven of uh, pentacles here. So in this dynamic right off the bat, this is letting me know of someone that needs to be a little bit kinder to themselves today. Uh, to me, right off the bat with this Ten of Swords, right, this is already uh, showing to me of you guys going through some type of uh, trying to get get to the other side of the tunnel, essentially, right? You're in the good news with this in this deck with the Ten of Swords is the representation of finally seeing the sun rising after like a dramatic or a violent storm, right? So think about your life in this way, where it's like you're finally starting to have things lighten up for you a little bit. So just have patience at this time, right? With this Temperance card, this is a card of just asking. I mean, quite literally, keeping your emotions in check, right? Well, I don't, actually, this deck, there's no cups involved, but usually with most uh, temperance decks, there's usually uh, this individual is balancing uh, liquid between two cups, which would be representing your emotions. In this sense, this is kind of just like a yin and yang energy, the moon and the sun. So having that balance, perhaps just reminding yourself that you're going to have some dark days and you're going to have some lighter days, right? So when you have your darker days, you just have to remember to be kind to yourself, right? If you need to have this day where you're just resetting, that's completely okay. Be kind with yourself in this regard, because if you try to um, push yourself during this process, then, you know, you're not benefiting at all. In fact, you're probably just like building resentment about towards yourself for really no good reason. So Seven of Pentacles, this is one of those things where, dare I say, is just like a situation where it's like, this garden's going to be here tomorrow if you need to take a break today. But let's just unpack these cards some more. Let's get some clarifiers. We have the Ace of Pentacles coming in here, confirming more so of like the message of that there's you're going to be coming into the harvest soon. You're going to be going to your corn cornucopia, essentially, relatively soon. So keep your, you know, have patience at this time with the Ten of Swords. You know, just a little bit more healing needs to be done. Um... And then we have the death card coming in here as well. So definitely, you guys, like, if you guys have been just, this is very specific towards my individuals who are just going through some type of recent transition, especially with the Ten of Swords. This is showing to me a dynamic of where it's like maybe something you had to let go of something recently, right? And, you know, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to have let go of it today or even this last week. It could be something that's been a long uh, something that's been a long process for you, right? There's no time period when it comes to the grieving process of when a cycle comes into completion, when you lose the connection, you know, whatever your storyline is. Um, but I do see, I do see things starting to look up for you. Ace of Cups. So definitely, yeah, you guys take this day to your main focus. Your main focus for today is to open your heart up a lot more. So whether this is involving you uh, taking off that stress during today by uh, relieving some of your workload, right? If that's your situation, then that's your situation. Um, but for many of you guys, I do kind of just get the sense that you need to perhaps... I don't know, perhaps just this, take this day, you guys, to ask yourself what's, what feels right to you, what's going to make you feel better, what is going to help you go overcome this grieving process. So 
clearing this up right now with this general message. Let's now get into what it is that you guys should be looking out for to, for today when it comes to your communication, All right? Let's see what, what kind of communication y'all have coming towards you guys. All right, so you guys have the funny that we have communication, then we have these source cards coming out. We have the two of pentacles coming in for you the seven of swords coming in as well as the king of swords so right off the bat this is showing to me calling to a message for some of you guys to really uh, when there's some type of like with this two of pentacles this is letting me know as someone that's kind of stuck at an uh, indecision right what, but what are you being indecisive about ten of cups i need a little bit more detail though the devil card are you so this is almost like perhaps uh y'all some of you guys are like making this having to like way off the juggle between a choice of what it is that you want to do that somehow impacts impacts something close to you right it could be like a family it could be just like a close friend or a close connection that you just perhaps don't want to hurt their feelings on but with this devil card here this is where it's interesting because i feel like then it trans uh, transitions nicely to your seven of swords y'all now with the seven of swords this is usually kind of a distrustful energy this is an energy where it's kind of like um a little bit overwhelmed as well it's similar to the energy of the two of pentacles in the sense that um just juggling a lot um and so it does show to me very much so like seven of cups energy and where it's just like it feels like there's a lot of decisions that you are considering a lot of choices that you are considering making but you kind of don't want to make the wrong one you, but you mm, it's almost like you view the wrong one by upsetting somebody potentially three of cups yeah you're afraid of upsetting somebody that's close to you strength card i mean come on this story writes itself y'all just with the meanings of the cards i don't even have to give like examples really do i in this situation so truly y'all this is a situation where it's like in this dynamic you have to kind of put yourself first this is the question of when are you going to put yourself first if it's not going to be now well when is it going to be um, with the strength card coming in, I always see this as the shadow work card whenever it comes up. So this is definitely a lesson for you to lean further into, right? This isn't one of those things you identify and being like, oh, I want to make this choice that's really good for me. So it lessens my workload, right? Maybe you guys are taking on too many other people, uh, too many projects for other people or putting too much responsibility on other people's lives and their responsibilities on yourself. And you need to less lighten that workload for yourself, right? You, I mean, you know, you're story but this is something that you need to lean into and like even though you acknowledge you might upset somebody you need to kind of make the decision to put yourself first right because if they actually care about you they'll understand also you have to remember to communicate properly as well right with the king of swords this is all about very much so like mature uh just mature energy a mature mindset about this all let's clear up the space here so we have some room to work right so let's get a little bit more insight on this want this one i guess we're taking these three so for this king of swords we have the king of swords coming out again we have the tower card which doesn't surprise me and then we have the eight of pentacles so i mean i don't really feel like i need to repeat this message too much because it kind of like these cards kind of just reinforce my point kind of shows to you that spirits on my side in this regard uh king of swords more so just amplifying the message of the need to um don't react um don't just do a reaction off of something you know think things through carefully but also you really want to strive your best today y'all to um just think things through. Think everything through and whatever decision you make, you want to make that decision with complete confidence. Um, truly, there is just this push, y'all, though, of like making decisions that will like is just of your betterment, right? With this tower card in the eight of pentacles, it's one of those things of when are you going to learn your lesson? When are you going to finally just take that decision to stand up for yourself or putting yourself first in some capacity? The tower card does signify with the eight of pentacles that it's just like, when are you going to learn from this and break some type of cycle in y'all's lives? You know, the cycle may become uh, occurring in your life. If you're finding like there's been certain cycles occurring in your life, 
uh, recently, y'all. Coming in in a bunch of different, like kind of like the same lesson, but in different formats. Um, you know, maybe look at what it is that you need to have a tower moment and on with this Eight of Pentacles as well, right? So really good read, y'all. Let's close out this reading with a with an oracle card, a moon oracle card, right? So we can close out this daily reading for y'all, daily tarot reading. Let's see what Moon also has to say. Let's see. All right, so we have the new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation as well as the full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. So, you know, similar to what I was saying before in this message of where it's just like, do what you need to do self-care wise, self-care, whatever it is to help you release this negativity. Even if this is kind of giving yourself like a spa day or a day off where you just do nothing besides relax, where your ultimate goal is to relax, whether that relaxing looks like staying in bed and being on your phone all day, or if you find you're relaxing, you're being able to reach a state of relaxing by completing a bunch of chores that you haven't done for a while that you've been putting off. Uh, take this time today to uh, lessen this uh, burden, this kind of workload that you have with uh, negativity. You know, let's lessen this light. Let's lessen this load a little bit when it comes to negativity, whatever is weighing you down. And then we bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. This is, you know, again, an energy trying to, you know, be kinder to yourself, right? but also just main, main, keep this balance, right? Make sure that you're not in the, you never get into too much of a cynical state or just spiraling too much, right? You can only really spiral, in my opinion, right? If you're, whether that spiraling is like depression or anxiety or whatever, I'm not, no, I'm no expert, but I feel like you only really spiral when you don't allow yourself to just to have the experience, allow yourself to have those thoughts and emotions, because if you're constantly just at this battle, you're in constant turmoil with yourself and that just does no one any type of good especially your mental health so just be kind to yourselves today y'all i promise you that the uh the storm is definitely ending for you guys you're definitely going to be having your rain and sunshine very soon just be patient at this time right be patient be patient be patient I love you guys so much. If you did enjoy this daily uh, tarot reading, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you all. Bye.